So what have I got in front of me? In front I've got two things, a box of sliders and something that looks like a VCR transport control with a scrub wheel. And I'm going to do an animation of this robot in front of me. Now, the first thing that my technical director did for me is attach all these MIDI sliders to different limbs. So I can move, by moving this fader, the right arm, up at the shoulder, the the, my, to my right, the left arm, and at the shoulder. And in fact, I can move the two arms together. And now you're starting to see that I can bend all car parts of the articulated body using these faders and set a pose. Now, in one sense, this is just the same as a slider box or the thumb wheels that you find on many uh, graphics workstations. The point to be made here is that MIDI is MIDI is MIDI, and it doesn't matter whether this is a drum, a saxophone, or a keyboard, or any MIDI device you can imagine, you can use it to control your figure. They're cheap, they're available everywhere, and you can tailor the controls to match whatever you're animating. So, we've got this great pose right now, so what I'm going to do is simply hit the red button here, and that's to record it. And that's all I need to do, and scrub along in time. And so up on the top of the screen, if you look up here, you can see the time slider is now moved up to, let's make it to, to frame 20. Now at that point, I'm going to change the pose, bend back, and record it. Now already, if I scrub backwards, you can see that it's automatically interpolated in between those key, two keyframes. All I needed to do to set a keyframe is hit the red button for record. Now again, I'll change the pose, bend down, record, and move ahead. Now you'll notice the skills that I'm using right now are skills that probably every single one of you already have. You know how to work faders, you know how to work VCR controls, and you know how to work a scrub wheel. Therefore, you know how to do the animation. The only thing that prevents me from doing a great animation here is my ability as, as an animator. It has nothing to do with my ability as a computer person. And so, fine, I'll find my, set my final pose, I'll record it, maybe do one final great finale. And then I'll just rewind and hit play, and we can get the complete animation. The mechanics are simple. The skill is what differentiates the great animator from the novice, like me. And that's how it should be. And that's how we're trying to make all of the tools that we're doing. And that is the basis of all of our work, to empower the artist and make the technology serve them, as opposed to make them servants of the technology.